So what is our next mission? Looks like we're having a nice sit around the... It's not exactly a campfire, bottle of boiling stew maybe? Ah, French. Okay, I... I seems a bit mad. A Frenchman mad is never a good thing, especially around this period, since we all know what happened in about 40... No, well, actually I believe Napoleon Bonaparte was alive at this point. Was he? No, he wasn't. I believe he was born in the 1780s, maybe. Then he... 1770s? I'm not going to go on about that, because I don't know what I'm even on about, but I do know he was alive at this point. Well, not alive, but... Around this time period, he came to power at the beginning of the 1800s, as emperor and all. So all that pretty much meant the di okay. The dirty bastards, my father. That's all I heard. But it looks like we're starting up a little revolution of our own. Am I really getting involved in this? Connor, can we not just back out now before we get ourselves killed? By the looks of it, not. Oh dear. What a mess we're getting ourselves into now. We are not English. Well, you're not English, but you're French. I wonder... Uh, where am I supposed to be? Oh, no. oh, bloody hell, those kids must have some strength from them. Stefan, please! Stop and listen to me! I've listened for long enough! They come into my home and take my thing? I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay! His friends will pay! Yeah, no subtitles for that. So pretty much he's going to get revenge, if none of you heard that. I don't know how the sound will turn out in the final video, so I just thought I'd mention it there. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you want. You say this to all the Englishmen here, however, a lot of the people living here will be English too. It's not just for soldiers. Soldier, yeah, soldiers. Yes, I guess for back in this time, the English would have probably. It's a game, it's not serious, but I'm guessing the English civilians might have been persecuted as well, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay, don't let him finish his sentence then. Um, what the? Harry and heck? They've got bloody axes! Okay, we may have to be careful of these guys, but we can still slit their throats. Bloody Scottish and their giant axes. I don't really want to... It looks like we can't block them, so it may look, look like we're just going to have to intercept them quickly before they attack in future. Yet his war path seems to be continuing. No one seems to really care anymore about all his initial support, except for myself. Seems to still be following him. And what is that pisshead doing in the middle of the street? He looks a little odd just first. And this guy, uh, I have no idea what he was doing. Yeah, I don't really understand what is going on here. He's just running through the streets, killing British soldiers. What is this going to achieve? You're just going to alert a battalion of some sort, and they're just going to come down and mow us down. It's not exactly the way to go about it. Maybe we should gather an army first and start a civil war. Like, what? Well, it's not a civil war, is it? It's war of independence, which happened in about a few years. Can we not just wait for them? Stefani. Chaffle. I will match your face to your Let's just get these British killed quick. I don't want to be sat around here forever listening to this guy bloody keep talking his crap forever. 
And finally, we reach the market where apparently something's going to happen. As it kind of did. Well, with the help of some small explosions I may have put in place. And that's just why. What is it? Why treat people with just so much ridiculous hate? Even I guess it is his. I don't even know. It's just lock, lock and onto a target and press LB to send your allies to. Okay. Right. Okay. Yep. That's apparently what we're doing. Yeah, that's how you assassinate someone. Butcher's knife. It's, well, it's not. But yeah, it is a butcher's knife. Butcher's knife to the side of the shoulder. It's a bit bloody harsh. Maybe you could have listened to him. Well, he wasn't exactly going to live, was he? He just had a butcher's knife shoved down the better half of his left side. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my plot. The English, they can keep my dreams. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. You did well. You walked out of your shop like a bloody idiot. And just cause a lot of capaf no, just just idiocy. I guess he got what he wanted in the end. He did get some people to rise up, but it was just a little stupid. Why? Why? 